the coach, the technical team, the management team, Mr. Thomas Pate, captain. <laughs> And the members of the Black Stars, you're all very, very, very welcome to Jubilee House, which is the seat of the presidency of our country. I think everything that needs to be said has been said. But I just want to add my personal word of gratitude to you for putting the icing on the cake on my birthday yesterday. The way these things happen. Today I had to give a statement to the parliament on the state of the nation. And it meant that yesterday, when you were playing, I was in a meeting with those who helped me put these things together. So sad as it is to say, I didn't actually watch the match. But what I heard were the reactions of people in my office as you were playing and they were watching. And when you score the first goal, there's an Arsenal contingent in my... <laughs> yes, yes, I agree with you. Yeah. Chris Hutton and I, we belong to the other side in North London. Yeah. They came rushing in that uh, you've won the game for us. But really, the nation was so elated by your performance, both in Kumasi and also in uh, Abuja. In Kumasi, we saw that the black stars that we knew the committed, skillful set of footballers that we grew up with here had come back. Now, we didn't see it, unfortunately, in the AFCON, but we saw it in Kumasi. And really, after Kumasi, I was very, very calm here that I knew that in Abuja, it was going to work out well. <laughs> In fact, I happened to be in Abuja the day before on, a, on an official business, and I discovered when I was there a lot of nervousness on their part. I'm talking before the, before the Friday. The Thursday before the Friday, I was in Abuja. And uh, I came away with the thought that they feared that if they didn't get a result in Kumasi, they may not get a result in, uh, in Abuja. And that's exactly what happened. They didn't get it. So we have to thank you. You lifted the spirit of the nation. And now the nation has every reason to look forward to your performance in Qatar. Everybody's going to be behind you. And we're going to give you all the maximum support that we can. The ministry, the officials of the Ghana Football Association, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, and all the organizations in the, in the, in the state that work with sports and football will give you all the support that they can. The arrangements that they have made with you before are all going to be properly honored and make sure that uh, everybody feels properly recompensed for what has happened. I myself am organizing a special package for you before. <laughs> as, 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 a token, as a token of my appreciation and recognition. But I think that above all, what we want to see, what we have seen in these two matches is the oneness, the cooperation, the solidarity, right from the management through the technical team, through the team, of people working together for a common goal. And that is what we want to see continue. I'm hoping that the technical team that has been put together for these two matches will at least take us through the World Cup itself. I told the coach, the head coach, that he ought to be careful when he came to Ghana. He might likely be kidnapped here. It would make it difficult for him to go back to, Holland, to, to Germany 
and to Dortmund that we want him here. But I would, I would, uh, Mr. Kirkwood, uh, whatever you can do to make sure that the team stays together, at least until Qatar. Then afterwards we can take the long-term decisions. The reason is that a situation whereby Arsenal, Tottenham, and everybody is together in one arrangement. That's a formidable uh, <laughs> arrangement. Tottenham is very well represented here, both here and here. <laughs> and oh yes, 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 the Vice President. The Vice President is also a strong supporter of the cockerel of, of, of Spurs. So, let's keep together. And the, the hunger, the desire, the determination that we saw in Kumasi, that we saw again yesterday, keep together. And out of it, I know something even greater is in the future for us. The person that we grew up worshipping as the greatest footballer of all, the great Brazilian Pele, said that in his lifetime, he was sure that an African team would win the World Cup. <laughs> he said that a long time ago, that it was part that he believed strongly that in his lifetime, like me, he's also a little bit long in the tooth, but it's not over. And good God knows, if the spirit that we've seen in these two matches, and the level of skill too that has been demonstrated, kept together, the sky's the limit. Whatever it is that can be done on our side, as government, as officials, to support you, to give you the most agreeable and convenient background, tools, resources to work with, we will do it. The rest is up to you. But what I've seen, I know that a lot of good things are ahead of Ghanaian football. I want to welcome you all once again very warmly to the seat of the presidency and to congratulate you on behalf of the 31 million people in Ghana for the great feat. The chairman talked about going into the lion's den. I believe that was it. <laughs> and the events that took place after the match tells you that indeed you have been in and out of the lion's den. But the spirit, and at the end of the day, you know better than I how much how important that is in sport. You've done very, very well. The nation is very proud of you. And we want to have more reasons to be proud in Qatar in December. I want to wish you the very best of luck. And as I say, whatever my part and the part of my government we can do to assist we're going to do it. You're lucky. You have all kinds of very responsible and Ghanaian, senior Ghanaians who have all been roped into the, into, into the, into the boat. Sami Kufour, um, one of the greatest players that our country has produced. Mark Addo, Kwame Sikins, the Grunsa. I like the Grunsa. <laughs> All of them are there to assist, as myself. I am a football fanatic. Anybody who knows me will tell you that. I, 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 I'm, I'm consumed by the game. Every opportunity I have to watch it, some of the, 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 the places you've played, I've actually been in the stadium there to watch matches. White Hart Lane in the old days, the Highbury, the Emirates, even Dortmund. Been to watch, I'm a big, big fan. So I'm so happy that in my period as president, this achievement has been done.
So I want to thank you for that, to say you're very, very welcome here. Thank you very much. May God bless you all. Thank you. I forgot. Apart, apart from my special package, I have presidential diaries with the crest and everything. I want to give one to Mr. Coach. <laughs> and the Arsenal man, Mr. Captain. <laughs> A two, a two, a two, a two, a two. There you go. Everybody else will get one too. They'll organize it for you. Once again, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs>